Order. Question number seven, Julie Ann Gento. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport and asks, why are the regional state highway projects announced at the weekend being funded from asset sales rather than from the transport budget? Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr. Speaker, the Future Investment Fund was created to ensure New Zealand had high quality, productive infrastructure. The accelerated regional roading package delivers, uh, as announced on Sunday, high quality infrastructure that will be of benefit to New Zealand's regions. Uh, point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Judy and Genta. Um, this was a question on notice, and I think the intent of the question is quite clearly why are the projects not being funded from the transport budget? Uh, the Minister didn't address that the, in his the, answer. Well, no, the, the Minister did. He then went on and talked, and you, you talk about in your question why is it being funded by asset sales. The Minister then went and said the purpose was to create this fund to be used to develop quality um, infrastructure. The question was certainly addressed. <sighs> Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Julie Ann Gender. Isn't the reason that the three billion dollar transport budget isn't enough to fund crucial regional transport projects because this government has starved the regions to pay for its low value RONS program? <laughs> Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr. Speaker, no, that is not true. The government has had a considerable amount of funding going into the regions. And the point that's been made over the last couple of days is that that will continue uh, for the years to come. In actual fact, Mr Speaker, uh, that uh, $3 billion plus that's going to the regions reflects an increase on what has been spent over the last few years, but it is incremental on what has been spent. So suggestions that we've cut them off and cut them short are utterly ludicrous. This is an extra that will make a difference to communities. They are roads and improvements that those communities have asked for, and this government will deliver them. Any other government won't. That's right. That's right. Point, Point of order, of order Mr. Speaker. Julie and Genta. Um, I seek leave to table an update from the New Zealand Transport Agency stating that there was a moratorium on new infrastructure for state highways because of the roads and national order, significance. Order, the, the documents being described, I assume, is something that's not easily available to members. It is not easily available. And I was sent to me by On that council. basis, I will put the questions for the House to determine. Leave a sort to table this particular uh, NZTA document. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Supplementary? Supplementary question, Julianne Genta. Is the reason the government is raising the petrol tax today because it has spent so much money on its uneconomic RONS program at a time when road use is declining? And if not, why not? Honourable uh, Jerry Burnley. Mr. Speaker, no. <laughs> <laughs> Supplementary? Supplementary question, Julianne Genta. Would the government have had to raise the petrol tax and sell assets to pay for regional roads, given that there is a $3 billion transport budget, if it had not wasted so much money on its low-value RONS program? Well, Mr. Speaker, Honourable I, Jerry Brownlee. Mr. Speaker, I doubt that uh, anywhere in New Zealand where those RONS are being built, or anywhere in New Zealand where the, these uh, regional roads are being proposed, or anywhere in New Zealand where the $3.7 billion is going to be spent in the next four years, there will be a majority of people who agree with the member that these roads should not progress. The first point is that all roads are funded from uh, the National Land Transport Fund is created by virtue of the road tax. And Mr Speaker, we are making roads faster for people, more efficient for business and safer for motorists. Supple Supplementary question, right honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, can the Minister confirm that one of the reasons why uh, petrol tax has declined is actually because fuel, uh, cars have become so much more fuel efficient and so much more environmentally friendly? And Mr. Speaker, can the Minister also confirm whether the money that's going into roading is being spent to make our roads safer? so that less people die on those roads. And isn't that a good thing for New order. Zealanders, that order. we have much safer order. roads? Honourable Jerry. Order. order. Point of order, Chair. Speaker, you've been at pains in recent months to abbreviate questions that are asked, supplementary questions in particular. Why did you not act then? Well, I invite the member to go back and look at the tape afterwards, because he will have seen that I did. As soon as the question went on, passed to the third, to the third question. Order! 
as soon as the Prime Minister's question got to the third question within the supplementary, I decided two was more than enough, and I rose to my feet and stopped the, the question. I now require the Honourable Jerry Brownlee to answer it. Well, Mr Speaker, not only uh, are vehicles becoming more fuel efficient, the Government has moved to allow high-productivity vehicles to assist order, with order, the weight movement across I'm just having trouble hearing the answer because of the interjection still coming from the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Could he cease? If he wants to have a conversation afterwards, I'm happy to have it, but I'd be grateful if we could have this question answered so that I could at least hear the answer. Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Thanks, Mr Speaker. I, uh, I, I heard the noise and until now I didn't know what a mower sounded like. Mr. Order. Speaker. Order. Mr. Speaker. Simply answer the question. <laughs> Mr Speaker, not only are vehicles becoming more fuel efficient, but the Government has also moved to introduce high productivity uh, motor vehicles or, or, or freight, uh, freight, uh, freight transport uh, to try and get better efficiency out of our roads. But also, sir, it's worth noting that if you take a, a RONS like the Southern Motorway in Christchurch, the, the time that now it takes to travel uh, from well south of the city to the port of Littleton is reduced by around about 25 minutes. You can only speculate, sir, about what a huge benefit that will be, not only to uh, the efficiency of the economy, but to the environment as well. Stop. Stop. Point of order, Mr. Point Speaker. Point of order, Julie Ann Gento. Uh, for the benefit of the Prime Minister, I seek leave to table evidence that vehicle tra vehicles kilometre travel are falling on state that, highways. And the and source of the roads. document? The New Zealand Transport Agency. Well, again, state. that information, I assume, is on their website, or is the Minister saying it's not? Uh, the member saying it's not? Uh, he, uh, he's apparently order. aware of it. Order. Order. The point of, the, of a, raising a point of order seeking leave to table a document is to inform members. If it's information freely available to members, then they will, if they want the information, source it. Uh, point of order. Point of order, Julianne Genta. I seek leave to table a report from MWH on the Furikino Trestle, which is one of the regional road projects, showing it has a BCR order, benefit cost order, ratio of 0 0.5. The, do the document's now being described on the basis that it's not freely available to members. I'll put the leave. It's an MWH report. Leave a sort to table it. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Quest order. Question number eight. Louise Upston. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Economic Development and asks, 